Yo, Percocet, Miley Percocet, Percocet, Miley Percocet. What's up guys, this is your man Notorious Dex coming back at y'all with another video and before I start this video I just want to ask if y'all would subscribe, like, and comment and I want to aim for 3 likes because last time we got 2 so I want to aim for 3 likes and I and I post another tutorial for Madden, NBA Live Mobile, or FIFA Mobile, or UFC Mobile uh, if y'all tell me what to do inside the comments if y'all tell me what to um which game to play? Y'all want gameplay? Y'all want tutorials on how to get these players and these coins? Then just tell me start the comments. But anyway, let's get straight into the video. All right. So basically, y'all click on this video because y'all want to know how to get tons of coins and tons of elite players. So, um, the way to get those is to start out. If you're just starting out now, if you not just starting out, you you already got a team, you've been playing for a while, then. I'm pretty sure you played this a little bit. Now, the main thing to do is play season mode. If you just started out, but if you have a team already, you can still play season mode. It's a thousand five hundred coins. You can do a lot when you uh, play. If you play enough games, thousand five hundred coins every time. That's a lot of money. Plus, when you win the playoffs, they give you extra coins. So, um, basically, the main thing that you should do is play season mode. As you can see. They give they give you a good amount of coins, and the reason why I um I only have two thousand four hundred coins right now, cause I opened a pro pack, I recorded this video, and it got messed up, and I opened a pro pack inside of the video when I was supposed to, cause I was supposed to open the pro pack every video, and I didn't in this I didn't in this video because I recorded this video already, but it got messed up. But anyway, I okay so season mode once you play that enough save up your coins don't don't go and buy a pro pack because <laughs> that's just dumb unless you confident that you're gonna get a good elite player uh, or confident you're gonna get a elite player anyway so the main thing that you should do after you finish season mode well before you do all that you supposed to make sure you do live events you do live events before you do season mode you do all the live events that's available for that time. Then you go to season mode. You grind out on season mode. You'll be rich by the end of the day. But anyway, you'll be at least at 10000 Now with that 10000 I recommend that you go to the auction house. Don't buy nothing from the auction house. What you do is you snipe. All right, I'll show you the snipe filter now. For those who don't know what sniping is, sniping is basically... When you buy something for for less than what it's worth, and then you sell it back and get more co coins from it. Now, if you snipe, like say if I say if uh, Drew Brees was worth a hundred k, he's not worth a hundred k. I'm just saying, say if Drew Brees is worth a hundred k, and I bought it for fifty k, I could sell him back and make fifty thousand from it. So, the snipe fifth I like to use is. Max six thousand five hundred. That's max buyout. Do not do nothing with the bid because you can't snipe with bids because of the fact that if something is low in cost, then people will keep bidding on it and you'll never win the bid. So six thousand five hundred. Make the max eighty five overall. Now this is my elite snipe filter. I will show you my gold snipe filter that you can use. Now we. Now when you sniping, you can either keep the player or you can sell the player again. Which will give you more money, which can give you the player that you actually want, not just a random player that you sniped. Alright, so type elite players only. And that's the snipe filter. The search. As you can see, it was a Drew Breeze up for 2,500 coins. I wish I got would have got that quicker. See, if you were got that, if I would have got that quicker, I would have got a Drew Breeze for 2,500 coins. Now you can use this snipe filter. Now, and you can get a elite player for 2,500 coins. Now, that's, that's, that's a great, um, that's a great price for a elite player. And I'm just checking what the time is, 216. So, the next re, re, um, the next auction house refresh, because the auction house, it refreshes every five minutes, and it shows new players. So, whenever, every, so, say if it's 215, then at 220, the auction house will reset and when i act when i look this snipe fits up again it'll be different players up here it wouldn't just be it wouldn't be that i am sold player right there no more 
it'll be different players because the auction has reset. Now it may sometimes it may be 220, and it may like every five minutes it may be like say if it was 215 and it was 220, then it came 220. Maybe sometimes it lags to where the point the auction doesn't refresh until like a minute later. So you know don't get worried if you go and you see the same card 2500 sold. Now see I could have got the the snipe, so that proves that that is a good sniping filter. I so um i got a gold sniper for you you go type you go to gold you go to overall max overall to be 83 no 84 and then you go to price you type in 1.5 now yeah you type in one uh, 1.5k and so think about these like sometimes Go, goals go for different prices, but you can see there was a Corey Lindsley for 400 coins that we could have got. There was a Steve McNair for a thousand coins that we could have got. There was a Charles Leno Jr. for 758 coins. Now, to eliminate all the extra, you know, like, okay, as you can see, he's up for 758 coins. I'm gonna buy him because that's a, that's a deal. As you see, you gotta be quick. Somebody else bought him before I could buy him. You gotta be quick with these nights because people will take your player when you're trying to buy them. Now to eliminate all these 1,500 D'Angelo Hall that you probably don't want, or this 1,500 Reggie Nelson. But never mind, you might actually want that. But anyway, to eliminate all that, you just change this to 1,000. And you'll get more results for lower like as you can see I put in a thousand and only the good players that were worth that um that are worth a lot but somebody sold them for little and they because they made a mistake basically well the only thing made a mistake some people just want to sell them for little because we're not a lot of coins because they just need to get rid of the player but anyway as you can see all of these popped up now if I were a little bit quicker I could have got Jason Peters 82 overall and then sold him back and made more money because of the fact that I sold him for more than what I seen him on the auction house for. Now, now you can make money off of that. I actually have a snipe up on the auction house right now. It's, it's like worth, like I, I found it for like 2000 but it's worth 5500 Alright, so the last thing that I want to address in this video, because that's the way that's the way to get tons of that's the way to get um tons of coins right there sniping and that's the way to also give tons of players right there sniping so remember to rewind and look at those snipe filters and put them in on your uh on your auction house and see what you can uh get so um it makes you remember it refreshes every five minutes but anyway so this is the different account i had another account but basically I switched phones and stuff got complicated and so I had to basically start over. But I've been sniping and I've been doing season mode and stuff. And so um as you can see I got four elite players on my offense. My defense is all gold. Um yeah, my defense is all gold. And then my special teams, I don't really care about the special teams. I'm just glad I got, you know, Emmanuel Sanders. He's one of my favorite, best, I mean, football players. Okay, as you see, I got Greg Olsen, Alex Mack, Blaine Jensen, and Doug Baldwin. You can snipe these players so easy. And I also could sell them, snipe, make more money. I can go sell them, then I can use that money to snipe, make more money, and then get somebody better to replace them. Now, I don't recommend doing that. I recommend just keeping the stuff that you got and then grinding out season mode and live events to get coins, and then then you snipe. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you start out with live events, get five coins, and uh, it's like it's not worth it. You play three times. And if you win, I don't know how much you get if you win, but it's not worth it. It's literally a waste of your time. Now, there's one more thing I like to say, do sets. If you don't, a lot of people avoid sets because they don't know how to do them. Now, all y'all do is, okay, so a weekly set is daily warm-up. If you do your daily warm-up every single day and you get seven of them, 
then you put them inside here and you get a pro pack a pro pack will give you a guaranteed gold player or elite player so you get you get that from there which can help a lot do not buy a pro, do not buy pro packs i just bought one but for the video and i literally got a gold player a 75 gold which is the lowest gold you can get so don't do that and so you get these collectibles game time collectibles you put these in six every time see I, I put mine in already and so it adds a cooldown of 15 minutes so you have to wait 15 minutes to put it back in there and get they give you the bronze trophy bronze players they give you different stuff it's not like it's not gonna ever be something you know huge like a big 90 overall elite player but it's something just to you know help you a little bit okay locker basically you can exchange you know you can put in a, a collectible that you don't want and a silver trophy and you'll get back another collectible just a, it's just a random collectible now quick sales if you have the if you have the materials to do it i say do it but if you don't don't go into the auction house and start buying gold trophies bronze trophies and silver trophies just so you can get a quick sale pack which you don't know whether you're gonna get something good out of it or not now will of players I do this every now and then. I never have got an uh, elite player. Like it's basically put in a silver trophy, and then it give you a random player. I don't, yeah, I don't do it a lot. But as you can see, you can do sets for elite players. You can get an elite player, and put in ten elite trophies. Do not do this though, because if you have ten elite trophies on you, sell those elite trophies if you want to. You can sell those elite trophies and you can get let's see 25 times 10 that's like like you're gonna be rich 25,000 times 10 you're gonna be rich think about that you'll be at like 250k yeah you'll be at like 250 not 50k but 250,000 yeah i'm slow but anyway um You'll be at 250,000. So if you do have enough trophies to get this, sell sell your trophies on the auction house for 25,000. And you'll be at like 250,000. And you can buy as many elite players as you want with that because elite players, they're really worth 10. they really, most of like the base elite players, which are 85 overalls, they are worth like, I would say like, like 10,000, like 9,000 and 10,000 coins. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the rest is the rest is self-explanatory and so i hope y'all like the video make sure y'all give it a thumbs up like i said i'm trying to hit three likes on this video and don't forget to subscribe and comment with um what uh game you want me to play next uh if y'all want, like, want me to upload gameplay or y'all want me to upload tutorials but that's it though um see you next time peace